a high-level diagram of the sort of the Alfresco Fresco suite, the Alfresco products or interfaces. Um, Gab's going to go into more detail. Alfresco Surf. This is a, a development platform um, upon which Alfresco Share is built. But uh, basically, Alfresco Surf is a is a is a developer platform to build ECM applications. Um, so we have integrations with Microsoft Office as well to make a, a handy little plug in there to, to Microsoft Office environments. Uh, the Java server faces, that is the old interface, um, the one which is still today far more commonly implemented with customers. Um, the Java server faces platform uh, interface will, will stay and continue to be supported. Um, and then we've, with the repository, there's a whole lot of different ways in which that the content can be accessed. Um, and I think on this next slide I can, I'll show that a little bit better. The whole concept is that the repository is very, very open to lots of different types of applications, users using different protocols coming in through different interfaces. We've got uh, the ability to expose our fresco as a, as a folder or as a file, a file system through FTP, through SIFs, through WebDAV, so the screenshot I was showing you before with the, uh, with the folders. Uh, we have our own web applications, the JSF clients and the Alfresco Share clients. You can embed Alfresco into uh, portals. Um, it, Alfresco complies to the JSR 168 portal standard. Um, certainly in Spain, um, a very, very common uh, marriage, let's say, is uh, LifeRay portal with Alfresco uh, uh, ECM. So in enabling that content to be pushed out through, through LifeRay, and there's a number of partners who have who have uh, uh, delivering projects with these two, these two technologies. Um, and it's through the standard where we integrate with, with LifeRay, but it's not limited to LifeRay, and any portal pretty much supports the 168 standard. Um, lots of interfaces for programmers. There are web services. There is uh, Alfresco's own uh, proprietary API. Um, there is also um, an API based on uh, REST framework which essentially allows you to program Alfresco using URLs, using simple configurable URLs to, to uh, work with access and change content. We also support the, the, the standard as far as we possibly can. I think we're, we're at version 0 0.62 of the CMA standard. It's very shortly going to be uh, released. We've supported the, all of the versions, the, 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 the draft versions of the standard. We have support also for proprietary Microsoft protocols, part of the... Um, the Microsoft uh, ruling by the European Commission uh, uh, three, two, three years ago was uh, that they had to not only pay a lot of money as by way of fines from the, uh, this, this is the antitrust uh, ruling that was made by the European Commission, they had to pay a lot of money, but also um, they had to open up some of their protocols. And there's one protocol called SharePoint Protocol, um, which they had to publish. Um, the reality was that actually Alfresco had We'd been looking at the protocol for a long time, and we actually knew how it worked. But as a commercial offering, we weren't really able to offer customers an integration without actually the protocol being published. So it was really a question of when the when the when the protocol was published. Um, our fresco then released um, the, our support for this uh, proprietary protocol. Um, and just a little bit, whilst talking here about the architecture, all these different ways for users to come in and access and work with content. Um, the the actual repository, it's, a, it's the classic um, document management or ECM architecture where we have the database, which is storing the metadata. We have uh, a document store or a file system, which is storing the, the documents in their native format. And there's also an, an index, a full text index, which is when the documents are, are indexed for doing full text searches. This is the, the proven way to do this. Um, this is something that has been proven all the way that this is the architecture which is far more scalable, responsive. It can be changed. You can, for example, put the documents in the database as blob if you want to, but we know it's 20 times slower. Um, so, but the, the flexibility is there. Um, and we, we support you know, a whole load of different uh, platforms. Obviously, the, the community version of Alfresco supports the open source databases. The enterprise version of Alfresco supports all of the proprietary uh, databases like Oracle, Microsoft, IBM. Okay, so that brings me on nicely to, just got a couple of slides here to explain the differences between the two versions. Um, the, the, the community version, which was, which was at some point called the, the Alfresco Community Labs version, um, community, or, and there's the enterprise version. So, what's the difference between the two? Well, let's have a look 
uh, some of the characteristics. Well, uh, the Alfresco community version, completely free. Um, it's free to use, free to do exactly what anybody wants to do with it, so long as they respect the GPL license. The GPL license, uh, I'm not a, an open source lawyer, but it's uh, basically uh, making, you know, it's, it's making uh, people into good open source citizens, and if they're going to take something for free, then they're going to contribute back for free. It's, it's a way to, to, um, to protect the intellectual property of Alfresco by um, making sure that people abide to the, the regulations of this general public license. So, for example, if you, do, if you use Alfresco community, and you, potentially you're an integrator who is building a solution, you can't sell that product. Um, you can sell services, but you can't sell that as a product. The GPL has to be, has to be free. Um, it's really more of a, a well, it's less close to a laboratory. Um, we do do reasonable testing on the community version to make sure it's stable. We do it mostly so that people can make sure that they can, they can have a good experience with Alfresco. But we don't, you know, we don't, uh, you know, we do daily builds of the product. It's available for download through the SVN. People can download it. We're not, we're not going to be, we don't spend huge amounts of our resources QAing the free version. Uh, we, we, we do that on the, on the, the version which our, our customers are paying us uh, support services. And there's no service packs for the community version. If, if, if the community finds a bug and the community fixes a bug, or, or a bug is reported in the community version first and we fix it, then we'll put it back into the community version. Um, but there's no, there's no service packs uh, as such. There's no dedicated patches. It's pretty much, we, we, you know, we always want to make sure that the quality is there with the Alfresco community version. Um, of course, at the end of the day, it's, it's, the, it's the code. The enterprise version is a, is a derivative of the community version in terms of that it's just gone through a whole load of extra processes to guarantee quality and to give assurances to organizations um, that, uh, you know, and also service packs, et cetera, et cetera. And that's really, and that's done through the, the subscriptions model. Customers uh, take out annual support contracts, um, and it's a, whole, it's a whole bunch of different things. It's, uh, it's the product support. It's the actual enterprise version of the product, the one that's been through QA. There's a service level agreement. We offer gold and platinum, in fact, even diamond support contracts. Uh, it's got a commercial license. It has a warranty. It's, been, it's certified by Alfresco Incorporation, Incorporated. We've done lots and lots of QA. We have a team of some 20 engineers who are doing constant QA on the enterprise version. We do benchmark tests, we do stress tests, we do platform tests. The enterprise um, version also comes with, there is a, a portal for customers called our Fresco Network, which offers advanced uh, documentation, um, and more, more documentation to do with deploying production systems not to do with APIs, anything to do with APIs, to do with product features, that's in the, you know, that, we want the internet to, to, to take that, to develop things, to, ex, to extend uh, the functionality. The documentation which we have is more built for um, how to maintain uh, and, and how to optimize production systems, tuning, so added documentation there for, for deploying uh, live systems. And we also have, um, well, there's the support, our first call tracking for managing all the incidences. Um, and uh, Alfresco, we do have some training, um, some training uh, services. Uh, very occasionally, uh, Gabriele is, is required by obligation to spend some time with some customers, even though it's not our model, because our model is pretty much 100% partner-centric. And the partners are the guys who are doing all of the, ver all of the services around the enterprise version. Our partners don't work with the community version. The partners only work with the enterprise version. And these are kind of, you know, these are the guys out there doing all of the stuff with customers. Um, and we're behind, you know, providing sort of second line support, uh, second and third line support um, to help the partners out whilst they're doing the projects with the customers.